you rip out your spine hey and I'm Tristan audience. you guys don't know me but if you've seen me in videos I probably died a lot like really quickly but um I have Tell decks that they don't shit, have so Johnny. I'm gonna do a profile on them right now I'm doing a Dragon World Jackknife this is a uh, kind of an older deck that I recently that got a revamp <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret! You You're ruining your own if meme. You yes, talking, I did. You would have noticed Wait, I introduced myself as a kid who got curb stomped in every video so far. Wait! He, he survived the hurricane! Yeah! I, uh, hi, my name is Tristan. I'm the last of the Hawaiian bloodline. <laughs> <laughs> and here I am spending my time playing Buddy Fight. Great. Alright, so your buddy monster <laughs> is Hurricane Ligma. <laughs> um, <laughs> is Jackknife Dragon. He's from set one. Got a reprint really pretty, not recently, but like a little while ago. Basically, his skill is he's a pay one gauge. You may take two gauge and, yeah, you may pay two gauge. Take a jackknife from your deck, put it on top. And, uh, yeah, he's good because he's going to fetch out all your other jackknives, which I'm about to go into right now. All of them are size two, except for the ones that you don't use. There are size ones, but you don't use them. Um, so this is Jackknife Spirit, Hero of Jackknife Spirit, and he's awesome because you basically counter shove him into your soul from your hand, and then we stand the card, you shove it in there. And then if this card's in the soul of a card of Jackknife in his name, 1000 power and defense. So you can stack this on your item, on any monster, just make him super buff and just keep on swinging. And then, three of Jackknife Glands End, Vampire, that's not a Vanguard reference. Uh, so basically you have to call him on top of a jackknife already and pay one gauge, then you take a card from your deck and put it into his soul, and then you can act pay two life to give it penetrate and double attack. Now, typically, yeah, it, it would be smart to only use it once, but you can use it multiple times in order to accelerate yourself down to five life or lower, so you can get into your gold better plays. So I'll usually be at ten life, use him, just get myself down to like five, and I'll be good. Then you get four burn energies. He's basically just a, on, a free on top of jackknife placement. Uh, charge two, and he has soul guard. So you usually will just use him if you need resources, or as like a size two to just put down when you have a Grand Thieves already out. Speaking of my Grand Thieves and stuff, here's Gold Rooter, the, uh, the pre-card to Grand Thieves. But um, basically, Goldberg has been around for a long time, triple rare. When you have five or less life, uh, put a card with Jackknife in his card name with three or more soul from your field into your drop zone and pay two gauge to equip it. You must get rid of all your other cards because it does count as a size three armor dragon on your field. So um, size, it will overcome size burn. And like you will have to d take away your cards. I'm not speaking properly, it's fine. Damage dealt to you from the attacks becomes two. Hora. <laughs> Uh, and then as penetrate, it's a 10 5 10. And moving on to the better version, because that version's ass. I'm a rarity whore. And this is Granthys. So Granthys' skill reads as follows This card's also treated as Jackknife Gold Raider. It's a 12 2 12, which is fucking busted, by the way. Release condition, because it's like a Futures Force uh, type card, has a release condition. If you have 5 life or less, and you have a Jackknife Gold Raider or a Star Dragon World item with Dragon Force in its name equipped, so you need to have 5 life and have it equipped, not one or the other, like I thought originally. This card in the field cannot be destroyed or returned to hand, and its abilities can't be nullified. Damage you take is reduced by 2, including your own effects, so you can abuse the uh, pay 1 damage cards in here. And then it has Penetrate and Quadruple Attack, so you're going to want to play 2 of it because you can get it really easily from all your support. Now, like, my two texts that I put in here... I put in this amazing fucking card, who is a pay two gauge counter, call during your opponent's turn. If you have five life or less when you do it, you gain three life. So you usually will bring yourself down to like five life with this. Swing, your opponent will try to attack you. Pay two, call it. You add, three, you gain three life. So you go up to eight. And he's a triple attacker, and he's a counter call, so you can block an attack for you if you want, or you can be just, you know, triple attack, seven attacks in one turn. It's never a bad thing. And then my other tech is... I forget his last part of his name. Super Sun Deity Dragon Balsole Dios. Um, you pay three gauge and put it on top of a monster on the field. Now the fun thing that I do with this is I'll usually stack... I'll just get a jackknife, you get a shit ton of souls on him after I have my death these plays, obviously. And then I'll just place him on top of it so he has like three souls. And he's hilarious because he num number one, damage you take re is reduced by two, and abilities of cards on your field cannot be nullified by bonus card effects. So basically, with Grand Thieves on your field, all damage you take is reduced by four, which is fucking busted. 
And then at the beginning of each player's attack phase, destroy or return all monsters from your opponent's center to their hand, or just destroy them, etc. This card's really funny. If you ever get this formation on your field, you win. That's it. Moving on. Save the spells. Three Thunder X attract, like Gabe is attracted to what? I didn't say anything. Yeah, he looked over, it was weird. Um, three Thunder X attract, uh, you pay one life and basically has two skills. You guys probably seen this in Thunder Empire decks. You can put one Thunder Empire item from your deck to your hand, but you don't use that skill. You just pay one life, add an impact or Dragon Ball monster from a drop zone to your hand. It's just useful for getting out like um, spirits, which are useful for just restanding your item or your uh, jackknife over there. If you have him in drop zone, you don't have a jack in hand, etc. You get the idea of its practicality. Also, the impact that I run in here. You're going to want that card for that. Um, then four copies of Jackknife Charge. This is basically just Charge 2 for free. If you have a Jackknife on your field, Charge 3 instead. It's really good. Um, jackknife Statue is the secret pack card. Really strong. You pay one life to either... Uh, if you need to have a Jackknife on your field, though, you pay one life to Charge 1 and Draw 2. Oh no, it's Charge 2 and Draw 1? Yeah, Charge 2 and Draw 1. Or you can add any item for your deck to your hand. It's really strong, and you can make it uh, effectively a zero cost. Um, then, if you want to get some fucking Snoop Dogg memes in here, Richard, this is Jackknife Joint. It's fucking amazing. Pay one life. She's a Jackknife. Um, she's a Jackknife card. A uh, card with Jackknife in its name, and it has to be a monster though. And ditch it in order to draw two cards. I am not thinking of properly, but it's fine. It's a draw two for a dish of a Jackknife in this card and pay one life, but it's free because you have Grand Beast or Dios. Then three, Jackknife Bravehearts. You pay two gauge, add any card with Jackknife to your hand. It can be a spell, an item, whatever. It's really useful. Keep mindful of your gauge when you're playing this deck because you run out and you need to be really super like careful of it. Um, two blue dragon shields for gauge, two blade dragon shields because uh, by the time you actually finish your combo to get Granthys out, you're down to like one or two cards in hand. And also you stay b below the five life area a lot, so it's just really useful to have that extra draw. So yeah. Um, oh yeah, and then four jackknife gifts. So basically you pay one gauge and then they have two skills. You can either put a jackknife from your drop zone into the soul of a jackknife on your field, then search your deck for an item and add it to your hand. Or you can pay one gauge if you have a gold river or a grand piece on your field to draw a card and gain three life. So you can basically stay at eight, draw an extra card, get some better advantage. It's a good card. We love you, Tristan. Love you too, Dad. You got a kill plus. What? Are you done? No. Oh, okay. Dragonic Hill Plus is just a one of because uh, so you mind. put yourself down to five. <laughs> you put yourself down to five, so you're automatically going to be gaining like five back. You put yourself down to five. So, uh, very, very good. What if you put just run it as a one of though because oh. this deck just doesn't have much open room for breathing. Then uh, two copies of Into the Future because being able to give something a crit that attacks quadruple attack is actually fucking retarded. And then lastly, the best card in the deck is my Gargantua Punisher. You play it at one. Um, I strongly recommend it. It's the only reason why I went with this deck. Uh, free, free my boy to see you. Free Stratos. In this deck, yeah. yeah. If you use the Gao one, it just fucking implodes on you. Gao and Yugo one. Who the fuck is Yugo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he looks. He's a user in R5. But he's a synchro user. Oh you my god. Okay. Yeah, don't don't play this card unless you have the SP version. If you have the SP uh, version, flex on all of your friends. And like I don't know, just speak in like SoundCloud terms. Yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh if you want to flame me in the comments, please do it. I'm gonna read them. Cause I I like I'm a narcissist. I'm just waiting until they come over and turn off the camera now. <laughs> I'm done. Did you hit 10 minutes? This is oh, shit. Cute. Wait, wait, 30, oh, 40 more seconds. Okay, um, um, that's fine. so how about them Infinity Wars? Send <laughs> <laughs> in your best Hawaii game. By Hurricane Lick Monday. Guys, the video, please send us $3 through Unicef to support Hawaii's recovery. Just, guys, oh, fuck, I need 30 more seconds. Ah, uh, guys, so just so you know, I broke my leg in Hurricane Lane. Um, it's, 
hurt Lane. I thought it was Ligma. <laughs> we broke my leg in Hurricane Ligma. Please leave a comment down below. Tristan, what's Hurricane Ligma? <laughs> hey, are you going to suck on? With my ball. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes! We're good. Cool. How do I like, comment, subscribe? Just hit the big red button. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, flame Miles in the comments. Bye. Oh, oh.